proportions. This time we're going to solve them and something different is going to happen. And so we've been talking about cross multiplying, where we multiply the 1 times the 6, and we multiply the x times the x plus 1, making sure that both the x and the 1 get multiplied. So we get x squared plus x. 1 times 6 is 6. This is what is called a quadratic. A quadratic has an x squared in it, and there's a couple different ways of solving it. Um, first of which is factoring, and that's the one we're going to practice today. But a reminder that you can also use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is one that you learn um, typically in Algebra 1, and it's that negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's x equals that if ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now, we're going to focus on factoring, and when you factor, or when you solve with quadratic formula, the idea is set your equation equal to 0. Um, so we're going to subtract our 6 over, and then the idea behind factoring is I want to change this back into a multiplied version. And so x times x will get me x squared. But now I want to think of the two numbers here that will multiply to negative 6. And so negative 6, I could have 2 and 3, I could have 6 and 1, but I want to get a negative, and then when I multiply out and this outside term and the inside term, if you think FOIL, those two terms have to add to positive 1x. So I want a positive 3 and a negative 2 because when they add together, they will get me positive 1. So I'm going to say minus 2 plus 3. Always good to double check. x squared, 3x, minus 2. And so these two together are getting our x term up here. And then negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. So here's where the magic is with factoring. Either one of these two numbers has to equal 0 because one number times another number equals 0. So either x minus 2 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. And so then I can just add my 2 over and x equals 2. Or I can subtract my 3 over and x equals negative 3. And so the idea with these and when you have to factor set it equal to zero, figure out what combination of numbers will multiply to your last term and add to your middle term. So this isn't exactly a lesson on factoring, but just sort of a refresher. We're going to do one more. And we've got x minus 3, and we're going to multiply. We're going to cross multiply these again. So I'm going to get x minus 3 times x minus 6. I'm putting in parentheses just like we've been doing with the distributing so that when I multiply x times x, I get x squared minus 6x minus 3x and negative 3 times a negative 6 is a positive 18. And then that's equal to if I cross multiply here and get 2x, 2 times x. So now these two terms together, I get x squared minus 9x plus 18. And then I would need to move, just like I did on the last one, I want to set it equal to 0. So I get x squared minus 11x plus 18 equals 0. So the idea is get that 18 to multiply what two numbers multiply to 18. So I could get 3 and 6, but they don't add to 11. I could get 2 and 9, and that's where my winner is. Now, how do I multiply to a positive and add to a negative? I need both of these to be negative. Because a negative 2 times a negative 9 is a positive 18, but if I add them together, I get a negative 11. So x minus 2, x minus 11, again, negative 11, uh, sorry, 
Let's try that again, x minus 9, these two terms. So you get the minus 2x and the minus 9x, which gets us to the negative 11. So then we finish it off, x minus 2 is 0, x minus 9 is 0, add your 2 over, and x equals 2, add your 9 over, and x equals 9. Both of these are solutions, and you can plug them back in to make sure that they work. So I'm going to plug in for x equals 2 and see if it works. 2 minus 3 divided by 2 is the same as 2 divided by 2 minus 6. So that's negative 1 divided by 2, 2 minus 3, and then 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Negative 1 divided by 2 is the same thing as 2 divided by negative 4, so that works out. And x equals 9. If I do 9 minus 3, which is 6, divided by 2, and x is 9, I plug in a 9, 9 minus 6, so I get 9 divided by 9 minus 6 is 3. And so this is 6 divided by 2 is 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and so that works out as well. Both of our answers work. Good luck as you solve some proportions.